going to have a seat in Sukhasana. And we'll take three cleansing breaths to start. So on the inhale, lifting your shoulders up. And open mouth, exhale. Two more. One more. Inhaling your arms up to the sky and coming down to your heart center. I'll just take a moment here to set an intention for your practice or perhaps a prayer, a healing prayer or a prayer of the earth. And bringing that intention or prayer into your heart space. And carrying it with you through your practice today. On the inhale, sweeping your arms up and coming back down on the exhale. We'll bring our left hand into our mat. Inhale, sweep the right arm up to the sky. Send your neck up to the, or look up to the ceiling if that feels okay for your neck. And breathe into your side body here. Three deep breaths. On an exhale, switch. Your right hand comes down to the mat, sweeping your arm up, sending your gaze upward if your neck allows, then breathing into the side body. On the exhale, bringing your hand back down. Coming to set your hands on your knees. I'm going to take our torso and move it to the right. So stretching through your side body here, your rib cage comes all over to the right. Inhale through center and pushing out to the left, feeling through the side body here, feeling the stretch perhaps in your hip or your low back. Inhale through center, one more time to the right. Noticing the sensations in your body here. Inhale through center, move it out to the left. And inhale through center. We'll come to take some seated cat cows. So we we'll inhale, draw our shoulders back and down and send your chin up to the sky, opening up for your heart space. On the exhale, navel to spine, round your back. Inhale, chin comes up, heart opens. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, the chin comes up. And exhale, round the back. And on the inhale, come center. Start to make some slow circles coming to the right. Pushing through the back space, coming forward, opening up those shoulders and back. One more towards the right here. And when you come center, counterclockwise. Inhale as you come forward, exhale as you come back.
and taking a pause, taking a nice deep breath down to your tailbone. And open mouth sigh, let it all go. And come to find a tabletop position. You can bring a blanket or a towel under your knees if your knees are sensitive. Making sure your wrists and your shoulders are in alignment. Hips and knees in alignment. Start to sway back and forth as if you're wagging your tail. Feeling through the side body, through the hips, through the spine. Come center. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin, ears, or sorry, shoulders away from your ears, coming into your cow. Exhale, cat, rounding your spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, rounding, navel to spine. On your next inhale, coming to a neutral. We'll bring our right arm to thread under our left arm, coming down to our right shoulder. Walking your fingers, if it feels okay, for your shoulder up to the top of your mat. And relaxing down into the earth. We'll take three deep breaths here. Breathing into that right shoulder and breathing into the openness of your left side. And on your next exhale, sigh it all out. <sighs> Releasing stagnant energy tension, anything that's no longer serving you. Bring that left hand next to your face and gently rise up back to your tabletop. And coming to wag your tail again here, slowly back and forth. Coming to a neutral spine, we'll take our left arm and thread it through our right. Coming down gently on that left shoulder, extending your right hand to the top of the mat. Noticing if there's a difference here, maybe one side was tighter or looser. And taking three deep breaths here. Relaxing down into the earth. On your next exhale, let it all go. Bring your right hand next to your face and gently rise. Time to take a wide-legged child's pose here. Gently walking your hands out to the front of your mat and bringing your head down. Maybe you rest your forehead on the mat or you turn your head. It's up to you. We'll take three deep breaths here into the back of our heart. Feeling your lungs expand. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Releasing and letting go of any tension you're holding on to. <sighs> and 
One more, make it your deepest. Feel your back rise, your lungs expand, and let it all go. <sighs> Gently walk your hands back. We'll come to spread our fingertips wide here and push back into our first down dog. You want to walk your dog out here, stretching your legs. Dropping your head. Take five deep breaths here. Finding some stillness if you can. Heels are facing the mat, pressing down. Relax through your shoulders. Relax your neck. Feel your back expand. And on every exhale, relax a little further into the pose. Two more deep breaths here. On your next inhale, bend your knees. And look up to the top of your mat and walk to your forward fold. Let your head hang free here. Relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. Tune into your breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Pushing out through your tailbone, shoulders away from your ears. Nice long line of energy from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Exhale, fold, root down through both of your feet, sweeping your arms up, we root to rise. Arms come up, hands to your heart center. Taking a moment here, feel your heart beating in your chest. Feel the energy moving through your body. We'll come to set up for mountain pose. So lifting your toes up off your mat and spreading them down into the earth, filling all four corners of your feet ground into the mat. Lifting up through legs, careful not to lock the knees, tailbone down, belly lifts, shoulders back, palms face forward. Nice, strong, stable mountain, shoulders away from your ears, heart shines forward. We'll begin to breathe here. And as you breathe in, visualize Mother Earth's healing energy coming through the soles of your feet, all the way through your legs, your hips and through your energy center all the way to the crown of your head. And then as you exhale, there's an exchange of energy. Energy comes back down through the crown of your head, through your energy centers, down your legs, through the soles of your feet, into the heart of Mother Earth. Bringing Mother Earth's healing energy up, as you inhale and sending the energy back down to Mother Earth as you exhale with love and gratitude. We'll do five breaths just like this. Inhaling, energy rises. 
Exhale, sending it back down to Mother Earth. Maybe you visualize white light rising through the soles of your feet, all the way through the crown of your head. And then as you exhale, that white light coming back down into Mother Earth. Two more. On your next inhale, sweeping your arms up and over your head. Hands come to heart center, diving forward, down to Mother Earth. Relax your head. Bow into yourself. Give yourself a nice big hug. Inhale, halfway lift. Pushing out through that tailbone, extending through the crown of your head. On the exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. Come to step back on that right knee. We're gonna set up for a low lunge. Inhale, sweep your hands up to the sky. Roll those shoulders down your back. Squeeze the thighs towards your midline. Lift through the low belly. Three deep breaths here. Grounding down through both feet. Strong, stable foundation. On your exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine, pressing that back foot into the mat. On the exhale, twisting towards the left, bringing that right elbow to the outside of your left knee and gently pressing into that knee and twisting your heart open to the left. Three deep breaths here. Thighs are active, hugging towards the midline. Feet are actively pressing into the mat. On your next inhale, gently unwind, slowly bringing your arms back up into the sky. Maybe you send your gaze upward, roll those shoulders down your back. And then exhale, bring your hands back down to the mat and step up to your forward fold. Drop your head down towards Mother Earth. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Extending through your tailbone and through the crown of your head. Exhale, fold it forward. Hands come down to the mat. Bringing your left knee back. Coming to set up for your little lunge on the opposite side. Inhale, sweep those arms up to the sky. Ground down through both feet. Shoulders down your back. Thighs hugging towards the midline. Lifting through the belly. Three deep breaths here. On your in exhale, bring your hands down through your heart center. 
Inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twisting to the right. Bringing that left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Coming to find your prayer twist. Three deep breaths here. Hugging your legs towards the midline. Grounding down through both feet. On an inhale, gently unwind. Arms come back up into the sky. Shoulders down your back. Send your gaze upward if your neck allows. And on an exhale, bring your hands to the mat and step up to your forward fold. Fold your body in towards your legs. Relax through your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Extending through the tailbone all the way to the crown of your head, shoulders away from your ears here. On the exhale, press your feet down into the earth. Inhale and rise. Hands come up to the sky and through heart center. Take a moment to check in here. Notice how you're feeling. Notice the energy running through your body. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, dive it forward. Deep breath here. Feel your shoulder blades rise. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Bring your hands down to the mat. And step back into plank. Option to come down to your knees here. Checking in with your alignment, making sure that your wrists and your shoulders are in line. Hugging those elbows in. And on an exhale, gently, slowly lowering down to Chaturanga. Letting your head rest on the mat. Inhale, roll those shoulders back. Cobra. Exhale, curl those toes. Find your down dog. Allow your head to come between those arms, straighten your spine, heels pointing down towards the mat, fingertips spread wide. Three deep breaths here. Weight spread equally through your hands. On your next inhale, send those toes, those right toes up to the sky. On an exhale, hug that knee up into your belly and step the right foot towards the top of your mat. Inhale, find warrior one, square your hips, towards the front of your mat, anchoring down through that back foot at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, sweep those arms up, ground down through both feet, 
Shoulders down your back. Legs are active, glutes are active. Lifting from the low belly. Exhale, come into cactus arms. And gently come into a little back bend here, sending your gaze up to the sky. Breathing in. Arms back up. And exhale, come down. Step it back into plank. Check in with your alignment. Heels pushing out and back. Belly hugs up and in. Hug your elbows into your side body and slowly lower through Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Shoulders away from your ears. Heart shines forward. Exhale, find your down dog. Drop your head. Perhaps you take a couple deep breaths here, letting out some exhalations, letting out some heat, breathing in deeply. And open mouth, exhale, release. One more. On your next inhale, sending those left toes up to the sky. Exhale, hug that leg into your belly and step it through. On an inhale, come to find your warrior one. Arms up to the sky. Squaring those hips to the front of your mat, anchoring down to that right foot. Strong, stable warrior. Shoulders roll away from your ears. Three deep breaths here. On your exhale, bring your arms down into cactus arms. And slightly come in for a back bend here, sending your gaze up to the ceiling. Breathing. Grounding down. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step it up to your forward fold. I'm gonna give yourself a nice big hug here. Squeezing your torso against your legs. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Pushing through your tailbone, shoulders away from your ears. Nice spinal extension here. On an exhale, come back down. Inhale, root to rise. Hands come heart center. Take a moment to check in. Take a moment to remember the intention that you made at the beginning of your practice. Bring that back into your heart space. Inhale, arms sweep up. 
Exhale, dive it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Stepping back into your plank. Wrists and shoulders in alignment. Pressing out through those heels. Long line of energy here. Hugging that belly up. Elbows come into the side body. Slowly coming down through Chaturanga. Feet are flat, legs are active, back behind you. Inhale, cobra. Shoulders away from the ears, heart is shining forward. Exhale, come down, curl to the toes. Find your down dog. Allow your head to drop between your arms. Pressing down, spine comes down towards the mat. Take a deep breath here. And let it all out. One more. On an inhale, send those right toes up into the sky. And on an exhale, hug that knee up into your belly and step your foot through. As you inhale, spin that left foot at a 90 degree and come up to land in your warrior two. <clears throat> Arms equally spread, front and back, grounding down through both feet, glutes, thighs are active here, lifting through the low belly, shoulders down your back. Send your gaze over your right fingertips. Three breaths here. On your next inhale, flip that forward palm up and back. Find your reverse foyer. Left leg and come to thigh or wrap around your back. Lift and lengthen through the right side body. Breathing in to your ribs, all the way down to your hip. Exhale, find warrior two. Gently bring that right forearm down to your right thigh. Inhale the left arm up into the sky. Rotate and twist your heart open. Look up to the sky. Grounding down to both feet here. Long line of energy. And inhale, find your warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Bring your left hip towards the left. Gently come down and find your triangle pose. Feeling the long line of energy through the heel of your foot all the way up your left leg, through your hip, opening through your ribs, sending your gaze up to the sky. 
Breathing here. Slow, deep breaths. Grounding down. Inhale, find your warrior two. Grounding down to both feet, legs are active. Bring those left toes and right toes towards the side of the mat. Bring your arms out, a big shining star. Lift up through your chest, roll those shoulders back. On an exhale, slowly come forward into your wide legged forward fold. Hands can come to ankles or to mat in front of you. You can bend your elbows here, drop your head. Bring the weight of your, into the balls of your feet here. Feeling the stretch all along the back of your legs. Breathing in three deep breaths. Sigh it out. <sighs> Letting go of tension. Letting go of stagnant energy. One more deep breath here. Let it all go. Bring your hands up to your hips, ground down to both feet, engage the core, engage the glutes. Inhale, rise. Send those left toes to the back of your mat. Find your warrior two. Extending through both arms, sending your gaze over your left fingertips. Legs are active, core is active. Roll those shoulders down your back. Inhale, flip the palm, come to find your reverse warrior. You can send that right arm behind your back. Lift and lengthen through your torso, feeling the stretch all the way through your side body. If your neck allows it, send your gaze upward, grounding down to both feet. Strong, stable warrior. Inhale, find warrior two. Send your gaze over your left fingertips. Grounding down. Left forearm to left thigh. Inhale, extended side angle. Opening up through the chest. Perhaps bringing that shoulder back a little bit. Sending your gaze up to the sky. Grounding down here. Breathing in earth's healing energy. And sending love and gratitude back down with every exhale. Inhale, find your warrior two. Ground down through both legs. Straighten that left leg. Bring your hips towards the right side of your mat. Exhale, come down to your triangle. Send your gaze up to the sky. Grounding down through that back foot, anchoring, extending through your fingertips, breathing into your side body. Inhale, find warrior two. Ground down.
straighten that front leg, send those left toes towards the side of your mat. Arms come out, great big shining beautiful star. Lift through your torso, roll those shoulders back. Exhale, come to your wide-legged forward fold. Hands can come to your ankles here. Head can drop down, bending elbows. Weight coming to the balls of your feet. Let your head be free. Relax through your shoulders. Relax through your neck. Take three deep breaths here. Bring your hands to your hips, ground down through both feet. Engage your core and your glutes. Inhale, rise. Arms come straight out. Right toes point towards the front of the mat. Find your warrior two. On an exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Step it back into plank. Push away from the mat here. Lift and lengthen, pushing out through your heels, hugging the belly up and in. Elbows come into the side body, slowly lowering through chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Shine your heart forward, point your toes into the back of your mat. Exhale, curl those toes, find your down dog. Fingertips spread wide. Allow your head to drop between your arms. Take a nice deep breath here. Open mouth, exhale. Bend your knees, look to the top of the mat, and walk up to your forward fold. Give yourself a nice big squeeze here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, root to rise. Hands come heart center. And take a moment to check in. Notice the energy moving through your body. Notice your heart beating in your chest. Just noticing how you're feeling. I come to do a couple balancing exercises. So finding your strong, stable mountain again, all four corners into the mat here. Allowing your left foot to get very heavy, maybe bending that left knee, kickstanding that right foot, finding your version of tree. Perhaps it's here. Perhaps your foot comes to your calf or perhaps you nestle your heel into your thigh. Avoiding your kneecap, avoiding your knee joint area. Lifting, nice, strong, stable tree. 
Perhaps you start to grow your big, beautiful branches. Finding your dristy. Breathing in. Beautiful, strong, stable tree. On the exhale, bring your hands to heart center, releasing your tree. Coming back to your mountain, bringing your palms face up in front of you. Letting that left leg get heavy again, grounding down through all four corners of that left foot. Inhale, bend the right knee and bring it up. Hug your belly in, engage your core, engage your legs. I'm gonna come to find our warrior three. So on an exhale, pointing those toes out in back of us and bringing our hands out in front of us. Perhaps, you come to find your arms out to the side. On the inhale, ground down through that left foot and bring the right leg back up. It's okay if you're a little wobbly. <laughs> Try to find your stability. And on an exhale, send it back and out. Inhale, rise, legs come back up. Exhale, fly. And shaking that left leg out. Maybe doing a couple hip rotations. And bringing it back down. Start to let our right foot get very heavy here. Bending through that right leg, feeling all four corners of that foot ground down into the mat. Finding your version of tree. Doing what feels good for you here. Bringing your hands heart center. Perhaps growing your branches. Breathing in. Strong, stable, beautiful tree, rooted deeply, connected. Exhale, hands, heart center. Release tree. Come to bring that knee up, palms out in front of you. And come to find our warrior three. So on an exhale, Pointing those toes and back, hands come out in front, extending, pointing those toes, perhaps bringing your wings out to the side. Inhale, rising back up. Exhale, finding your warrior three. And inhale, rising back up and letting it go, shaking it out. Maybe doing some nice hip circles. And we'll come to take a seat when you're ready. Perhaps you'd like to sit on a blanket here just to lift your hips up a little bit. Come to find staff pose. So finding your sit bones, grounding down through your sit bones, pressing your legs actively into the mat, feet are flexed, lifting through the low belly, rolling those shoulders down your back. Hands come to your hips. Neck is neutral. Taking five deep breaths here. 
lifting and lengthening through your spine, grounding down into the earth. On the inhale, sweep your arms up towards the sky and come to lengthen your spine forward. We're going to be coming into a forward fold here. So we're lifting and lengthening as we hinge through our hips. And when your back starts to round, you can come down. You can bend your legs a little bit here if that feels good for you. If you're really tight in your low back. And releasing all the way down. Hands can come to toes, ankles, mat, whatever feels good for you here. Relaxing through your shoulders, relaxing through your neck. Letting your head be heavy. Take three deep breaths here into the back of our heart. Breathing in, feeling your shoulder blades rise. And then breathing out, feeling your shoulder blades fall. Two more. Slide your hands to your thighs, and on an inhale, slowly push up, letting your head and neck come up last. Come to set up for a half butterfly. So you want to bring your right foot, I'll turn toward you, your right foot, and nestle it into your left thigh. Your left leg, come out to the side of it, or you can be straight, just whatever feels good for you here, depending on the tightness of your hips. On an inhale, bringing your arms up, and on an exhale, twisting towards that left leg, extending over and coming down. You can bend that left knee a lot or a little, depending on how tight your hamstrings are, your calves are. Allow your head to fall down towards your knee. Softening through your shoulders, softening through your face and your neck. And take three deep breaths. Noticing the sensations in your body. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up. Come to bring your hands heart center. We'll switch our leg to bring our left leg into our right thigh. And bring our right leg out to the side. Inhale, sweep those arms up. And then exhale, twisting towards that right leg and coming forward. Bending that knee as much as you need to. Letting your head fall down. Noticing if this side's tighter than the other side. Taking three deep breaths here.
On an inhale, sweep your arms up. Come to find your hands at heart center. And we come to gently lower down on our backs. Hugging your knees into your chest, giving yourself a nice big squeeze, rocking back and forth. Allowing your legs to fall towards the left. We coming in for a supine twist. Teeing out your arms. You can send your gaze to the right if it feels okay for your neck. If not, you can look straight ahead. Also, if you'd like to go a little deeper, straighten that right leg. And bring your left hand to hold on to your left thigh. It's creating a little traction in that hip flexor, opening up to the side body a little bit more. I'll take three deep breaths here. Breathing in, feeling your rib cage rise. And exhale, feeling it fall. If it feels good for you on your next exhale, sigh it all out. <sighs> Letting go of stagnant energy. Making way for fluid movement. And gently bending that right leg back. You had it straightened. Engaging your core and rolling onto your back here. Coming up to give yourself a nice big squeeze. Chin comes into chest. Gently come back down and send those knees to the right. Tee out your arms. Shoulder blades touching the mat or coming down towards the mat. Sending your gaze to the left if that feels good for you. And extending that left leg over the right knee if that feels good for you too. Breathing in here. Noticing possibly the difference from side to side. Feeling your rib cage rise on the inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Releasing all that's no longer serving you. Taking another deep breath here. Let it all go. And gently bend that left leg back. And come to roll on your back. Give yourself a nice big squeeze, a nice hug. Let your head come down. Maybe you roll back and forth here, massaging your low back, massaging your spine. And if it feels good for you, we'll come to find a happy baby. So grabbing your toes, the outside of your feet or your ankles, or even the back of your thighs, whatever feels good for you here. And drawing your knees down towards the mat. Breathing down into your pelvic bowl here. Open up, exhale. One more.
Perhaps you straighten one leg at a time, pushing and extending through your heel, and switching to the other leg. Maybe both legs straighten at the same time. And bringing your knees back into your body, giving yourself a nice big squeeze, lifting your head up off the mat, squeezing all the muscles in your face together, nice and tight, tight eyes, tight mouth, and stretching up in a ball. And on an exhale, letting it all go. Coming to find your Shavasana. Letting your feet fall out like bookends. Letting your hands come out to the side. Letting your fingers curl naturally. Relaxing through your shoulders, your neck, your jaw, softening through the eyes, letting the weight of your body sink into Mother Earth. Feeling supported. Feeling grounded. Feeling safe. Allowing this time for your body to integrate. All the poses you just performed. Feel free to stay here as long as you need to. But if you'd like, you can start to make some small movements with your toes and your fingers, your wrists and your ankles rolling them out. Perhaps you bring your arms above your head Take a nice, long pencil stretch, taking a deep breath in. And as you're ready, rolling on to your favorite side. Staying here with your eyes closed just a little longer. Noticing the energy of your body, noticing how you're feeling. And as you're ready, gently rise and meet me in Sukhasana.
easy sitting pose. But take one last inhale, sweeping your arms up to the sky. Bringing your hands heart center, remembering that intention or prayer that you said at the beginning of the practice. Thank you for your practice today with gratitude. Namaste. Namaste, thank you. Namaste, thank you Namaste. so much. You're welcome. Thank you guys for being with me. Teaching <laughs> us, my legs were exhausted. <laughs> were they? <laughs> it was good. It was great, though. Thank you. That's a good yeah. one. Okay. okay. Really thank you so much. Thank you too. Have a great day. You too. Bye bye. You soon.